Okay, here's the next program we're gonna debug. Shifting and inserting. Remember, we are doing this with arrays where we shift and insert, and you know, it never works the first time when you're trying to shift and insert, or you're trying to um, shift and remove. We always have trouble with it. So this has a bug. Let's see how to fix that. And we're gonna still continue using GDB with Replit. So here, let's switch over and see what it does. Now I'm not doing random numbers anymore here. I'm taking my index and multiplying it by two and I'm getting a bunch of even numbers in this case. You're always adding two. So it builds the list and, and then I'm trying to insert a value in the list. So when I, here, let's run it. And here's my list. And if I insert, for example, the number seven, it should go between six and eight. So I say I want to insert seven. It goes after six. Say that, but then I have, I'm missing eight and 10. Then I have a couple of bad numbers at the bottom. Okay. So let's run it again. Let's insert one. Should go right in the beginning. And I'm missing two and four again. And I have two bad numbers at the bottom. So there's something that's not right somewhere. So let's go to shell and let's do our G plus plus minus wall minus G, minus capital O, zero. That's what that is. And the file name, main.cpp, it's always main.cpp on replit, minus O, main, which is the name of the executable. And I don't see any errors other than warnings. So there was something wrong with this insert number. So let's put our breakpoint on line 60 after we start gdb dot slash main, okay? Breakpoint on line 60, B space 60. Now let's look at this for a second. What are we doing here? So here I have a text file called trace.txt where I have some numbers. So if I want to insert between six and eight, then I need to find the right index first, right? So I look for the value that is greater than the value I'm trying to insert. So the value I'm trying to insert is seven. So as long as the value in the array is less than this number, I wanna keep the index moving. The minute the value in the list becomes greater than this number, then I have to stop because this is my position if I wanna insert seven. So that's kind of what this for loop is doing. So the for loop here goes through the whole array and says if the value in the list is greater than the value that I'm trying to insert, then break, which is what it is. So if this value is greater than this, immediately break. Otherwise, just keep going, right? So that's what this for loop does. So break, the minute I break, before I break, I mark the index as position, and then I break. So when I come out of there, when I'm here, I'm at the right position, if my algorithm is right. Then I want to be able to shift everything. So what I'm doing is I'm starting here from here and I'm going to copy everything down so I can make room to insert this new number. So before this is on my list is, but I need to be able to make room, which means I need to move all of these things one down so I can make spot, make a slot there. And so let's see. Now, if I do, I have a breakpoint set at 60, I'm going to run. And so it says, here's your list. Now enter a number to insert. Let's go with seven. So here we are, pause is zero. We are in this function. We are on line 60. I'm going to go next. We're going through the loop. If list of i greater than value. So if you print list of i, it should be the first number, which is two. If you print value, it should be seven. So list of i is not greater than, two is not greater than seven. So we're going to go through the next one. i is going to become one. i is one. We are looking at four. Four compared to seven is also not greater than zero. So we're gonna go back. I is going to be two. Then we are looking at six. The next number is six. Six greater than seven is also not true. So we are going to go one more. And if I, so right there, I is three. So I is three, which means we are looking at eight. Eight is greater than seven. So we break out of there, we marked pause. So if we print pause, 
let's do execute one more and then if i print pass notice pass is three p space pass will print it pass is three which is the right position so we broke out of there now we're here so that much has been working correctly now let's see how our shifting works so we come here and we say n equals next for int i equals pass i starts at pass i less than size i plus plus we have copied from i plus one to i i is a three let's go back to our here and we copied from four to three is that what we wanted uh, if we copied from four to three this now became ten well we lost our eight then if we go next we're doing it again i gets incremented i has become four now i was here then i i got to be here now it's here we are copying from again 12 down to 10 i plus one to i so there's something is wrong with this that's not what we wanted so then everything gets copied over fine but we missed our two numbers and then when we are done at the end <clears throat> we're going to go through and copy everything over so it's just going to go through the whole loop and it's after that all the other copies are going to be fine but we lost our two numbers and then we are going to insert pass is still three value is still seven we're going to insert the seven here at position three right here actually and so we lost our 10 as well right now that's where the eight and the 10 have gone okay so that there's something wrong with that so what did we do we copied everything over from here down but when we copy from here to here obviously we're going to overwrite the value that's not what we want we want to be able to move things down which means we need to start from the back end from where size is from here so we need to copy from 9 down to 10 then from 8 down to 9 so we are not doing a for loop right right so let's quit here so if we were to start at the back end let's look at this for a second we want to start for i equals i should start here I should get all the way to position. So your loop would be for i equals size, as long as i is greater than three, I want to shift everything down this way, this way, backwards. So then our loop is going to look a little different. So this is obviously not right. We want to start from the back end for i equals size. How far should we go? i greater than pause. Because if you go i greater than pause, which is right here, we could copy eight down here at the very end. So the first time we would copy 20, would get copied here. Then 18 would get copied here. 16 would get copied here. 14 would get copied here. 12, i is still greater than pause, we keep going. 10, one more time, i is greater than pause. Now i is equal to pause, and that's when our loop will end, if we put that correctly. So a loop ends when i is equal to pass. So as long as i is greater than pass, I want to keep going. And notice my i came backwards, so i minus minus. Now, are we copying from where to where? This may still not be right. So let's go here. If i started here, I copied from 9 to 10. If this is i, if 10, i is 10, then this would be i minus 1, right? 9 should be i minus 1. So we want to copy from i minus 1 to i, not i plus 1 to i. So all of that will depend on how you write your for loop, where you start i from. i is a 10, which is size. So we have to go i minus 1 to i. And then we insert, okay? So now you can go back to console mode and run this and see if I insert seven, does it work? Well, six, seven, eight, and the rest of it. Now run it and do a few tests. Is it working if you insert at the beginning? Is it inserting if you insert at the end? Oh, that didn't quite work. When I insert 21, it put it right at the beginning. So that didn't work out very well. So you'll have to go through this and see, okay, how can I fix it? Why is the last number not getting inserted at the very end? You might have to have a special case. The first number is getting inserted, but remember when i is equal to size or when you're when you're trying to insert at the very end, there's nothing that catches it. We are checking to see if list of i is greater than value. 
we're going to go through this whole thing and pos is never going to change because 21 is not greater than any of these numbers here if you look at it so it's never going to go in here and break out of there so you would have to look at the number and if this never got set which means when you come out of there if pos is still zero then there could be two different reasons pos could be zero because the number is the smallest or it's the greatest so you will have to write some special cases to see is it is it the smallest or is it the largest and how do you figure that out and i will leave that up to you to figure that out 